Hey, and thanks for coming back to my channel here, Glenn's Air Studios. And I am going to be going over this Excel sheet that I offered out on my TikTok account where over 1,500 people downloaded it to help you flip houses, okay? So it's just an Excel sheet I made that can help you flip houses. I thought maybe I should make a more in-depth video, um, just kind of detailing some of the stuff in there, how this sheet works for those of you who want to go even further into it, okay? So uh, the one that everybody's been downloading, I already kind of have it pre-filled with numbers, but you're going to want to change these numbers, right? You're going to want to change them based off of the house. So um, here's how I calculate all of these numbers, okay? So first of all, it kind of depends on what type of flip you are going for, right? If you're going for a quick flip, then some of these numbers are going to be crazy different. If you're going for a high-end flip, then uh, it's going to be even, you know, way different than that, right? So the, the pricing spectrum could be like from one end all the way to the other. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you kind of like what I think, uh, prices should be for not like a high-end market, not like California, not, um, you know, Washington State, New York, right? These are more like maybe this would be the price of something in uh, the Midwest, right? So if you're going to just basically run over numbers quickly, okay, so these aren't always going to be right, but a safe bet, okay, if you're just kind of looking at pictures and a kitchen needs to be completely redone, you know, a safe bet is right around $10,000, okay? Now, you can do a bathroom for more than 5,000, okay? Or you can do it for less. Now, 5,000 is a safe number if you are gonna be like tiling and um, you know, kind of re like moving around where the toilet is and whatnot, you could actually do a bathroom for 3,000, okay? It is possible to get that completely done, uh, put new vinyl plank in and stuff like that for $3,000. Now, if you have a second bathroom, you know, you could be anywhere from three to eight. So if I'm looking at pictures just to estimate, I like to look at 3,000, 5,000, 8,000, depending on how much I'm going to do, okay? Now, another safe thing to do is to kind of calculate $500 per bedroom, okay? Especially if you're just doing carpet and paint, $500 is a safe number to go through. So if it's up to five bedrooms, you know, you could do 500. And if there's a master bedroom, maybe you want to put some cool stuff in there, okay? You want to do it a little bit different. So you could put 1,500 for the master bedroom, okay? Living room, if you want to restructure things, it could be upwards of $5,000, but that as well, that could be counted as a bedroom. So you could do, you know, carpet, $500, do paint. Um, so I like to look at it at 500, 1,000, 1,500, depending on what you want to do. If you're doing something major, then, um, you know, it could be higher, but let's just do for the purpose of this carpet, paint, get it done. Okay. Basement. Now, depends on what type of home you get. Might not have a basement, might have an unfinished basement, might have a finished basement, okay? So you're gonna wanna look at that. You're gonna wanna treat the basement um, kinda like the living room, but I would like to always add $1,000 to it, okay? Depending on the basement, right? If it's a finished basement, you're gonna wanna add because you might need to do some, um, like look at water damage, those type of things. But for the purpose of this, let's say it's an unfinished basement, I'm just gonna clean it out, get everything out, 1,000 bucks. Okay, windows, you're gonna look at $350 per window, okay? So if you can look at the pictures, count how many windows there are, and um, then you're gonna calculate that, okay? So let's just say that there are 10 windows at $350 a piece, $3,500, okay? So you got, 30, you got $3,500 for windows. This would be what I would call a soft flip here with the cosmetic stuff. Now, you're going to want to look out for appliances. Is there a washer and dryer there? Do you need to buy a new refrigerator? Okay, those type of things. I just like to add those numbers in. Okay, now curb appeal. This could be cheap. It could be expensive depending on what you need to do. If you just need to kind of clean the house, power wash it, lower this number like crazy. Pay someone a thousand bucks to come in, power wash the whole house. If you need to do siding, that number could go up. Okay, so you're going to want to look at... Um, you know, what what type of flip do you want to do here? The yard, depending on what you need to do again, I like to look at it. If you just need it like cleaned, done, you can get that done easily for $500. You know, mow it, put new mulch in, have someone spend a full day, get a crew in there, pay $500, get it done. Um, a lot of times there's attached garage, there's detached garages, right? If it's a detached garage, sometimes you need to do a new roof, those type of things. So look at the roof. If there's windows in it, what type of things you need to do with that? Sometimes it's cheaper to just take it out, depending on how bad it is, how bad it is. Now, these are the big items, okay? If you see 
any plumbing issues, okay? These are the things that I personally, I like to get a quote on before I calculate, okay? So if you notice there's a lot of water, I would not just guess how much it is. I would check and see how much the plumbing will be, how much the AC or heating will be. I would definitely check on structure, roof, or electric, or electric, okay? I don't make these numbers up myself. I don't kind of even guesstimate them. I like to get an expert to help me figure out how much those things cost, okay? So, um, I mean, a safe thing I guess you could do is put in like $10,000 if you think something is messed up, okay? Just to be safe, at least when you're making an offer. And then uh, at the end, you know, you want to do staging. Um, if you need to buy like um, anything like a, you know, this used to just be actually item one, item two, item three, item four, okay? So this could just be miscellaneous items, okay? That's going to total up right here, okay? So you're going to have a total number on this flip right here. The nice thing about this sheet is it's going to, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger for you. It's going to automatically put that rehab number right there, okay? So you're going to have the rehab number. Now, you're going to put in on this sheet your purchase price, okay? How much can you buy this house for, right? So let's just use four easy examples. You're going to buy this house for $100,000. You're going to put $48,000 into it, and you're going to sell it for $200, okay? So $200. And then how long are you going to hold that house for? Is it going to take you three months to flip? Is it going to take you five months to flip? Those type of things. Let's say it's going to take you five months to flip this house. So what are you going to buy the house for? The rehab number gets put in. And then how much can you sell that house for after? ARV means after rehab value. And how long you're gonna hold that? Now, it's gonna put in these numbers. Now, um, I got some hate in the comments, okay, about missing some things. That's okay, I'm gonna do my best to update that for you guys. But there are some things, this is gonna give you a close estimate of how much money you can actually make on this property if you do hard money and you um, are true to your rehab numbers. So in my state, Pennsylvania, you're going to pay a transfer tax buy and you're going to pay a transfer tax on the sell. Okay, it's 1% of the purchase. So um, we're going to take out transfer tax there. Now, closing costs, um, you know, it's going to be more than that. Uh, I should have put maybe like 2% in here, um, you know, for closing because it's going to be a little bit more expensive than 1%. But, um, you know, so you're looking at 2000 2000 you're looking at $6,000 here just for closing and transfer tax. Now, hard money, depending on how much you're going to pay the hard money, you know, you could pay two points on the purchase price. You could pay one point, depending on what you do, right? So I pay two points right now with the guy I use. I pay a little bit more because he's awesome. And, uh, you know, I pay $2,000. So I'm looking at $8,000 of just costs that I'm going to lose, right? Just to do the deal. Then how long I'm going to hold it? If I pay for five months, 11% interest, right? I'm going to pay $4,500 in interest to buy this house and flip it, okay? So right now, I'm at a total of $12,000 in just cost just to do this deal, okay? So it can get kind of expensive, right? But that's why you want to be true to your numbers. You want to have good numbers. So then you're also going to take in your buyer's agent, okay? Buyer's agent, I have 6% in here because I'm going to pay a buyer's agent and a seller's agent, okay? Now, if you, if you are your own agent, put 3%, right? Because you'll get paid... So you're going to have to put in buyers and and sellers. So if you're the own buyer, if you're your own agent, you are going to do 3% and you get to keep that, right? And then I always like to buffer a little bit for seller's assist because sometimes people need seller's assist. So I buffer that in as a cost to me. So I put in 1.5% uh, of seller's assist buffered in. If I don't have to use that, it can make my profit go up. And your total profit down here is going to be close to $30,000, okay? So how did I get that? I put in my rehab numbers, okay? Now, these are not like, you know, the exact numbers. These are just guesstimates for you based off of what you're looking at done for the house, okay? It came to 48,000. I'm gonna buy this house for 100,000. I'm gonna put 48 into it. And I'm gonna sell it for 200,000. It's gonna take me five months to do it. And then what I'm gonna do is all these numbers get put in automatically for you, okay? You're gonna pay transfer tax, transfer tax on the sell, closing, hard money, hard money, how much I need to pay over the month, okay? buyer's agent, seller's assist, my total profit here is going to be close to $30,000. So that's how this sheet works. You can get it in my website. I have that in the show notes here um, for you to uh, access it, download it for free. Um, and then I also have some other opportunities for you to get some free stuff on my website. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, let me know if I can do anything else to help. Please like and subscribe to this channel as I'm just trying to help people get better and better at real estate. So anyways, thanks so much. See you later.